one in four people will still die of heart disease, despite the fact that we've come a long way in working to educate people. I was getting out of breath, so much so that I stopped to catch my breath, and that was completely out of my norm. I didn't realize that what I was becoming accustomed to was really a signal of a problem. There's obviously a purpose for everything I've gone through. I was just so grateful to get through it, so blessed to be able to recover. If you don't take care of your heart, you end up having heart attacks, end up having strokes. So it's important to take some steps to act early to prevent these things. Heart disease involves any condition affecting the cardiovascular system. Things like high blood pressure, high cholesterol are in fact forms of heart disease and then it ranges all the way to people having emergencies like heart attacks. The earlier we address issues, the better the outcomes are. My uh, admittance to Washington Hospital was as a result of um, actually a DVT, which was diagnosed when I had actually taken my daughter to urgent care for a reaction that she had had to Nearsporin. And while we were in there, it just so happened the night before, my arm had swelled up. So I had asked the doctor after she was done with my daughter, you know, take a look at my arm. You know, I don't know what this is. Is it anything to be concerned about? And she took one look at me and said, yes, you need to get over to Washington Hospital. They actually admitted me and they started treating me for a blood clot. They also diagnosed through the exams and the tests that I had a hole in my heart. So that was back in 2000. Lynn is a wonderful lady. She sees me about every three months. She's really compliant. She watches her cholesterol. She takes a lot of effort in controlling all her risk factors. She does a great job. Well, I've always been very healthy, and that's why these abnormalities were just coming out of left field, because um, I'm very conscientious with exercise. If I had not been in the shape that I was in, the outcome would have been very different. People who don't take care of heart disease will end up having heart attacks, strokes, which sometimes can cost them their lives, and other times uh, can make them totally uh, incapacitated and impact on their quality of life. So last October, a year ago, uh, I was feeling sh out of breath, short of breath, taking on activities that normally I would not be out of breath. So I kind of wrote that off as being out of shape. And at first you wouldn't tell me. You would not say anything. Guilty. <laughs> until, until I would notice. I said, he's getting more tired than usual. It was about uh, a month after that that I had the intervention at the hospital and had the procedure done. And within days, I mean, almost the next day, I could feel the difference. For somebody like David, who's an active, productive person, it's really key that people don't ignore their symptoms, seek medical attention for them, and try to get as early as possible a process of workup and diagnosis of these symptoms. He had blockages in the arteries that were recognized and we could stent those, improve the blood flow and try to prevent his heart from being damaged, which is a permanent thing and often irreversible. And also, I appreciate his physician assistant who, you know, we had a little bit of a heart to heart. And so I think having been through that helped me a lot. And it also helps me respect the technology and the doctors, the doctor's staff, about what they can do for us. It's, it's just incredible. I'm so happy to be living in these times. Heart health is important because a lot of it is very basic. A lot of it is simple and easy to fix. Controlling your blood pressure, controlling your weight, quitting smoking, things that don't take a lot of high-tech stuff and anybody can achieve. Because by doing these things, you can make a huge impact uh, on your on your later life and your outcomes. I originally went to him because I had a little bit of a fainting episode and then that subsided. However, he now treats me for high blood pressure and high cholesterol. He tells me what he suggests and then he asks if that's okay, if I have any recommendations as well. But usually I go with his plan and Gary, his PA, and we just discuss what's gonna be the right treatment for me. It really is important 
that you take steps, see your primary care physician, see your specialist, get these risk factors addressed because there's a huge amount of impact that even minor changes can make to your risk. Go to the main. He's so knowledgeable. I just think anybody who had him as their doctor is a very lucky person. And having Washington Hospital right here, you just can't beat the treatment you're gonna get. Learn more about heart health at BayAreaHealthierTogether.com.